Okay. This is pretty good stuff. <laughs> I feel like we're all a little bit... Some uh, Plague Ward gold to the enemy in order to just gain information constantly, which means he should never get caught out. And they do need to, again, still worry about the Viper. And here's the dive at top. Rushing behind the Tier 1. Bulldog making for the woods. No help seems to be on the way. And this will be an easy first blood for Nip. And that was the question that I had was how how long do you wait if at all? You know, some fun, obviously. The clockwork is a very unlikely target top lane, though. Yep, they're going to engage. Lucky Mad there. Trying to chase down the Disruptor. Okay, with them. And they've got to be careful. Who's going to swoop in the Gyro? They may get him. And there's actually going to be the glimpse that sends him back. It actually created a bit of a problem. However, they will be able to follow it up. Rocket Barrage is there. Kinetic Field traps him in. And the TP out will make it just a one for Bell. But nonetheless, a very, very good kill for Nip. So it's yours again. And the fact that Mad ran forward there, I think, was the, the worst possible play. Because the, the Wizards could have gotten out. He underestimated, I think, the oh, power. Kinetic Field. That's going to catch Ake. And he will be able to tether out of it. Oh, no! Didn't make it down to the low ground. Loda, Nip able to tally yet another kill at 3-0. They do use the Moran ulti. They want to try to make something happen in reprisal. Loda's right there. He is at the half health. Hans can wait far out. There's going to be the Avalanche and Starfall. Tops finally gets Alliance on the board, so they do get a return. It's going to end up being support for support 1-3. to three. Yeah, that, that, that's on Loda, by the way. He, he should run just like straight an effective core position. So putting him in the mid lane make against the uh, Viper make a lot of sense. This matchup is in really favor to them. Era in trouble gets caught with Avalanche. He's so dead. Yeah. And I'm actually a little surprised that he hung that far forwards. And the Viper is usually lane dominance is really that effective. But Hanskin's going to catch Admiral Bulldog. They should be able to get a free kill here. And gonna wait it out. There's some back. Call down is gonna be there as well. So okay. easy one. <laughs> Why Double not? ultimates being used. I mean, neither one of them has a especially high cooldown, so it's not that big of a deal. Yeah. Why not make sure you secure it? And oh, the toss. They're gonna be able to get seal kit. That was an excellent play. Should pop them right away. The TP's in from Hunskin. They might be able to punish someone with glimpse. Oh, fucking mad. Caught out. Trying to get a return. Kill. Nice nightmare. Those in the TP right in their face. Doesn't matter. Dogs are there. Nice. He's gonna be pushed down and. Uh, a little glitched out, but they end up going two for one in a sequence of about 60 seconds there. And I'm pretty sure Ake should be level six by now. He's been in all. They're going to yes. get uh, Lip real quickly here. Ake with the extra bit of damage, but still Lip is so tanky oh, to get the feed script on top of that. Nip, they're going to lose their hero no matter what, but Seal Key can actually make some punish here. Uh, there's going to be a kinetic field that's going to keep them from retreating. Is that enough to allow any kind of a return? Nope. Looks like they don't want to engage him. Pro oh, Johannes a fan chasing him down. He's out of mana. There's going to be the... Uh, Blake Nova, and Ooh, it was nice really save. beautiful, yeah, really well executed that time. So they end up dropping the Viper, and they don't lose anyone in the process. So well played by Alliance. They are. And coming back to what I said during the uh, the opening comments, I just feel like their room for error is so small right now. There will be a Nightmare. There's going to be a Gale that hits as well. And the Apocalypse is going to go down. They're trying to catch up. There's going to be a Poison Nova. Got a couple and a Fiend Script on the Handskin. Down on the low ground. They're all grouped up. He got two. There's the toss. Bulldog, though, didn't have Gale. Gale still on cooldown. Moonlight Shadow will be used to make sure they can extricate themselves at least a bit. Dust, though, secures the fate of Admiral Bulldog. So it ends up being a one for one. And given Bulldog is transitioning into that kind of semi core is uh, the one before, but they may go try to take it with the gyro. They will drop a sentry, and yeah, Seal Kid's gonna head over there. And this is something they have to do. Well, top, Hans is gonna be caught. Loda actually tried to chase him down, but now the TP out. The Glimpse is gonna be able to stop that. Good catch, uh, just a bit over aggression. And I'm not sure, I didn't, was too focused on the tiny play, but I'm not sure how Aki didn't get the glimpse. Mm -hmm. Maybe he actually hit Static Storm and that's wasn't true. able to tether, but yep. they catch both. Well played. Out of, uh, and that's actually a very big sequence for Nip. It'd be on cooldown. Uh, let's see. Is it on cooldown? Yeah. So, yeah, that's going to be their last smoke for a decent amount of time. That's going to make it tougher than the fight. I mean, there's a good catch on Pycat. Let's see if they can make it happen. He already used Leaf, and yeah, that's an easy kill. And, you know, that's kind of the weird thing. It's like, if anything, Alliance is, they're reacting well to plants. Oh, they're going there. for the back door of the tier one tower. Oh, the two is already there. Great glimpse. They're trying to follow it up. Call down. Will catch him. That slows him down just enough. Ake eating a lot of damage. There's a toss. Trying to buy some time. I all glitz back on Loda. Ake's way out of position. And Loda now ends up dropping for the second time in just a handful of minutes. Era gets that kill. He's on a killing spree. They got two of the cores, the Marana and the Tiny. And Nip is doing a fantastic job now of playing this map out. And tail end of the relocate, you keep the Tiny up there in that top lane and the relocate's completely ineffective. There's a glimpse on Matt. He's sent back away. Looks like they wanted to engage the Johannes fan. There's a toss that's going to end up catching uh, the Viper. Static Storm is down. Lotus Khan in it. He is doing good damage. Okay, not so lucky. He should be. He will end up dying to great poison. Nova from Bulldog as he caught two of them. 
And it looks like the should be able to track down at least one. Bean script's gonna be used. There's a glimpse on map, but it didn't matter. Triple kill for Bulldog. So the question of whether or not he can really behave like a core answered with an emphatic yes. Four for one in that exchange. That's what Alliance needed to seal Alliance winning or could be the comeback. Oh, Lotus up front, it's gonna be popped. They know it's coming. Oh, they got a beautiful core snap, puts him in no man's land. Call downs there, and Lotus gonna end up losing his Aegis, but it is an Aegis in the meantime. Alliance trying to fight uphill. Tough road to hoe as they're losing a lot of the health. Now, Johannes and Fan with the cogs basically separates them out. Loda back up off of the Aegis. They manage to track down Era, who is separated out. In the meantime, there's a glimpse back on the Loda into the kinetic field. He's not going to be able to survive. Viper Strike slows him down. Can't get back to the safety of his team. Era still doing good damage. Not enough, though, as he does end up dropping the Pycat. In the meantime, we've got Johannes and Fan trying to pursue out Ake and Pycat. Not going to go, as they know they don't have the damage behind it. Um, and they certainly didn't have another hook. So it ends up being a three for two out of trouble. But Ake and Loda happen to be in the, in the right position. They just wander in. It is going to be spotted, though. Let's see if they want to hang. That's a lot of damage being done. There's a stun. And they're going to collapse here. This is very chancy for Alliance. Let's see if they've got anyone in position to stop this. Ake knows he has to get out. And Lotus just going to BKB go right on to that Ogre Magi. Manages to bring him down. Now we've got Aero trying to pursue out Ake. Loda in the meantime, though having his BKB kited, and he's unable to do much of anything. They're kiting him so well because of the Viper Strike. Ake's still alive, just barely by the skin of his team. He's going to end up dropping in the Viper behind the fight. Now Era coming back to re-engage, and Lotus is going to end up down. Bulldog gets off the Poison Nova. Too little, too late, however, his damage is done. Viper does end up dead. There's another on-point glimpse. Bulldog going to be the next to drop. Four for two, and with Era still standing, he's got the life steal. He may head into the pit, and he will. We're going to be an Aegis for the first time this game, going to nip. Pycat throwing out some random arrows, just seeing if he can catch anything, but they've got enough creeps there in the bottom lane. They'll be able to get uphill before Alliance does, and that's significant. Oh, oh nice oh. jump. They're going to be able to get mad. That's a huge kill. Oh, what a gigantic. Oh, no, he nightmares himself by a little bit of time. They're still going to pick him off. Matt is so essential in trying to deal with any kind of high ground push from Nip because that's going to be the best opportunity you're going to have to try to hit that full duration feed script from a weird angle, especially onto Era. For now, though, they give up Rex. Oh, man. They have to give up Rex. I think there's no play where they actually fight this one out, no. but Clockwork's going to try and catch him. Clockwork coming in. Oh, he actually hits the creeps. Now he's going to be able to cog it in. He's probably going to end up giving his life, and here comes the TPN. They've already got one there. Loda uses the BKB. That is one big ass Tony swinging a big stick and going to work on those racks. In the meantime, I'm sure the racks back in Alliance's down. space are already dropped, and he's going to be able to chomp down at least one. Here comes Aaron. Oh, day. beautiful shot. Good hook shot coming from the Odyssey fan, and now Loda just continuing to chop wood, but he knows he's left all alone. Moonlight Shadow buying him some time. That's a good He's going for the yes. Rack. Yes. beautiful. Like, is he going to have the damage? Is it worth giving his body for? He's going to get the, the racks for sure. Is going to end up dying, but the racks are probably going to end up being something. Can they get Era? He's chopping away. The life steal's not enough. Gets the toss. But the uh, the life steal didn't manage to keep him alive, and they end up giving it up. But it ends up being a racks for a racks exchange. So, honestly, I don't know that Alliance going to help. Out of Silver's Edge is going to be significant. Plus, it makes him tankier. Whoa. There was a, oh, a handskin. Yeah, he, he's got four staff to head. There's going to be an arrow. We'll catch him. They're going to engage. Loda got hit with Viper Strike. Still doing plenty of damage. BKB is active. He's chomping away, but they're continuing to kind of fairly well behind him. We see Bulldogs in trouble. Got corralled in the kinetic field. Ends up dropping down. Alliance still has Loda going to work, but Era doing a great job keeping himself alive in the meantime. Buyback from Bulldog. He wants to come back and re-engage. Pycat's BKB expires. Mad. Very close to dead. And Moonlight Shadow. Ooh, they're going nice to be able to dodge. get him. Ooh. So close. Ends up being a one-for-one, one, but Alliance did expend a buyback in the meantime. So, jumping into a creep wave, especially mid-team fight, this is super questionable. They're smoked up as a team, moving through the Radiant Jungle, and, oh, they got vision. They see him. They're going to engage. Moonlight Shadow has been engaged, and there's going to be a Fiend Skip immediately on the Steel Kid. There's going to be a blink on the Bucky Man trying to get him out of position. He does. Steel Kid's going to end up dropping. There's going to be the Poison Nova coming out from Admiral Bulldog. In the meantime, Aaron losing a lot of health. He's got credit. Huge! Down he goes, and now Nip on the run. He's down for 90 seconds. He also then drops the cogs trying to cover their retreat. That should be sufficient enough to get the rest of them out of trouble. But that's what Alliance needed so desperately and could not have been time better. Roche just came up. And now they've got an Aegis and a Cheese. They should be able to claim with no problem at all. And I'll tell you what, uh, that's a DD. They may have seen RK coming in there. And they're going to see him now. God, sure. it's going to die so quickly, though. Oh, they got to go so fast. His attack speed so high. They're going to DD. They're going to move in. Here we go. Viper Strike should lead in the will. Loading will be slowed down. There's going to be the hook in. They caught Ake. Aegis picked up by Tiny, though. Now he's coming back out. And Era, as much damage as he's doing, just can't stand to fight. But the, oh, he, oh, he got down. high grounded. He got high grounded. So he can't do anything. He's stuck. Bulldog in the meantime going to be cleaned up. It's current. A buyback coming. 
holding out on Ake. Ake has to get to the fight and is trying to help Loda out. Heard a hook somewhere. Pycat going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Arrow. Will end up coming out on the bad side of it. Three for two. They got the Disruptor and they got the Ogre Magi. They did get Tiny out of dodge, though. So Tiny not only didn't die, he got high grounded. And unfortunately for Alliance, that cost them the fight. But by, with the buyback from Ake, they're able to salvage things. Yoda, son. Five. All right, Alliance. Oh, oh, oh. Hook. Hello, Mad. Mad is going to be using Moonlight Shadow. He actually got cogged up to the high oh, ground. God. Oh, that's a bad decision. As, uh, yeah, he ran into the wrong neighborhood. He's going to go ahead and try to wait on his team to come back. BKB is going to be used by Loda. Holding this little bounce off of that. Beautiful Poison Nova out of Admiral Bulldog. Got a handful of them, but he's still being kited. Has the Aegis. He's going to end up feeding it amidst the Static Storm in the Kinetic Field. So, they still end up losing the Bane, and the follow-up fight has not gone their way. BKB going to be used by the Viper now. He's being chased out. Era trying to kite him and doing a great job. The, oh, it's so effective using that poison strike. And then by relocate, Aki needs to be able to save Loda soon. Soon, he's getting kind of quite heavily. And Loda still very low. Has oh the my God, through! <laughs> Are you kidding me? The runes for Alliance, absolutely bonkers. They're going to be able to continue to pursue this out. Four Staff is there. They catch Arrow with an avalanche. The right clicks bring him down. How do you win a fight when literally the best play is kiting a tiny and he picks up Get a haste rune rune. that gets right there at 62 minutes. Unbelievably unlucky. Ninjas in pajamas now gonna have to fight this with a buyback. They might have just lost the game. I don't think they fight. can. Without the Viper, how can they fight? The Viper's the most that's the most important hero in a, in kiting load. The most important hero in being able to manage these fights. They're gonna lose this wax for sure. NKB just completed. The awesome man trying to buy time. Kinetic field's going to be there, but it doesn't matter. Load is choking away. A quarter of the health of these buildings with one big swipe going to work on Era. Era's back up. There's a buyback on Johannes and Fan now. And he wants that's going to be enough to force the back of the damage is done. Oh, they needed more. They needed to catch something. Hanskin, he forced to himself oh, into trees and no. now he can't get a glimpse play. Hey, production, I want to change my uh, I want to change my MVP vote to Rune. Just the Rune. Just, I want oh to my god, they're going to take the Ranger Axe! It was the only thing left. Mega's now up. Oh, Ninjas in pajamas. You should have seen that one coming, but they got to be on them. Uh, a couple of kills there that may snowball against them quite heavily. Looks like Ninjas in pajamas are actually now going to take it to Lions' back doors. They have to against Mega Creeps. They have to go straight for Throne at this point. Oh, what an amazing Poison Nova. Nip having trouble trying to engage now. Loda is going to be cut and Static Storm is going to be on point, but it just doesn't matter. Their base is about to be pushed by a gigantic wave of creeps. They have to take this fight and not just take it, but take it well enough to win with it. Not going to be the case. Era barely able to make it away. The damage output from Alliance way too high. They hold, on, they hold ground. Three are down for one. GG, well played. Oh, man. 65 minutes. And really, I'm, I mean, impressed with the play on both sides. We talked about the advantages Alliance is going to have, the way they're going to be able to manage the map, uh, the way they're going to be able to pressure Nip. Nip, for the vast majority of that game cap, did such an unbelievable job of managing all of that. Their reactions were on point, their reads were on point. They didn't have the most effective smokes, granted. They had a little bit.